and the captain, Aaron Nova, is somehow caught in the middle. I, I want to say he's lucky, but I don't think he is. I don't think he feels lucky. Just, uh, he, look, she's got a ball and chain. That's dangerous. There's the bell. The woad. Genocide right here at the Love of Wrestling 3 in Sanford, Florida. Genocide now. Trying to assert her dominance here. Now, Collard Elbow tie up. Takes her over. Nice little toss there from Genocide. The woad. Went to lock up with her there, swing and a miss. There's that weapon of ass destruction. That's where the name comes from. Shoulder tackles to go around for everybody here. Genocide and load. Trading neither, blows. Neither one of these competitors, oh! Punches her in the face. Big shot there from Genocide, the bionic beast. And Genocide goes in. Shoulder tackle right into the midsection. Pump kick from Genocide. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, my name is the young Professor Matt Graper. They call me Sticks. And we he have the benefit of calling this incredible matchup thus far. Right on the face. Cover. Genocide. Only a one count. Load. Showing that she is not someone to be trifled with. She is not going to be put away early. No matter how big you are, no matter how strong you are, the world is not backing down. There it is again. Now, Sticks, talk to me here. Now, Woad, you know, she comes out, it's not just a catchy name. One-eyed, thick thigh. She's literally... She's got a patch over one eye. She doesn't have the benefit of having vision out of both eyes. Talk to us here about what that means for her strategy inside the squared circle. Well, I, I know as someone with bad depth perception myself, it affects the way that you move. Is you know you have to you have to adjust, and she's going to have to adjust here. A little bit of a size dif differential here, as 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 crazy as that sounds. And the woad usually from a mass standpoint, is able to usually overpower her opponents, but she's matched up in there against someone that has that same type of mass, and that's Genocide. Genocide, no slouch, just... Misses, though, hits that top turnbuckle. Headbutt, oh, with a big what? headbutt there. What? A hard headbutt. Right into the mouth of Genocide. Just a big fight here now. Woad with the knees. Genocide now. Gets, oh, wait a minute. Counters the Irish whip. Going for a clothesline. Woad with a drop kick. Down goes Genocide, the bionic beast on her back. Looking up at the lights. Only a two count here. Woad not able to put away Genocide quite yet. And Genocide getting back up to a vertical base. Oh, look at Woad now with the chin lock and the weight applied to her back. Can you choke out a machine? Is that possible? I, I'm not sure. We're about to find out. Woad doing the smart thing, using her entire body weight. Look at this. Look at this. It doesn't matter. When you've got the strength of genocide, you can overcome such odds. But wait a minute. Oh! Tried to use that weapon of ass destruction with a swing and a miss. Leg lariat. Cover. Not enough there. Genocide, though, back on the offensive here. Front face lock here. Look at this going for a vertical suplex. Nope. I know she's Ooh. strong. They're both strong. A lot of power for both ladies, but they're going to need every single ounce of it. This is great. When you're evenly matched like this, when you Headbutt. have a similar size competitor in there with you. 
Modified Samoan drop there. Both these ladies used to be in top of the food chain, but there can be only one here tonight. Wode was trying to make it so that it was her, but Genocide able to kick out. And Genocide rolling to the outside portion of the apron here. Wisely, perhaps, after taking a huge move like that. Uh-oh. Wode gearing up here. Genocide works the midsection, pulls her out on the apron. This is a bad spot to be in, this folks. This is not where you want to be. Oh, wait a minute. Went for a DDT on the apron. Wode able to hang on. Oh, oh wait, my oh, God. Man. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. She what gets caught. Look at this. She gets she caught. caught her. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Not from the Wode. I don't think she was ready for it either. Able to get out of harm's way, not get powerbomb on the outside. But you just catch that spinning boot right upside the head. The other side rolls her in. Doing some pull ups on the rings. But she was still in the match. Yeah, you don't want to give Road an opening like that. Strikes right in the center of the ring. Both women exchanging. Spear from Genocide. Down goes Woad. Cover. Oh, Woad kicks out. You can see the look on Genocide's face. Not sure what to do next well, here. A little bit added exhaustion. Perhaps she should not have utilized those rings to try and show off and expend some of her much needed en energy against a dangerous opponent like Woad. Arm locked in here. She's going to hang on tight. Look at this chin lock. Wrenching the neck of Wode. Wode trying to reposition herself, trying to get to a rope, trying to break this submission any way she can. She does not want to submit here. She does not want to give it up. But if she stays in there much longer, I don't know what choice she's got. Genocide wrenching on that neck. Oh, and claws her way to the bottom rope. The captain with the count. Genocide breaks the hold. women have such remarkable, tremendous strength. They've been showing it off here all throughout the match. Genocide now with the kicks. Trying to chop away at the tree. Whoa, sweeps her legs out from under her. Wait a minute, look at her slingshot. Sends her, hangs her up right into the rope. Here comes Whoa. There's that weapon of ass destruction coming in hot. Goes with the cover. Only two. Genocide able to get the shoulder up in time. Both these ladies to their knees. Forearm shots back and forth. Laying in. Off the rope, Genocide, oh, oh catches the boot. The midsection, oh, Woad just sent off his rope, gets caught with that big pump kick. Genocide coming in, oh wait a second, collision in the center, both women going for clotheslines. Again, evenly sized up. Look at this, Spinebuster Buster from the Woad, lays on top, goes for that cover. Genocide kicks out. What's it gonna take here, Sticks? I'm not sure both these ladies just beating, well, beating the hell out of each other. Something's gotta give at some point, though. Oh, double underhook, backside. Oh, wait a second. Not able to hang on. Instead, drives that knee under the chin, right into the throat, it looked like. Hangs her up. With that crossroads cover. Oh, and Genocide not able to put her away. You can see the exhaustion on both these ladies. I mean, they're giving it all that they've got. They're leaving it all in the middle of that ring. Just when you think that one of them has won it, the other one comes back with a vengeance. 
These two are as evenly matched up as any two women I've ever seen, and they just launch the referee. All right. Is it a no contest? The captain calling for the bell. Oh, you better get out of there, buddy. And both women put their hands on the official. Regardless of whether or not he might be a competitor. You might want to run there, Nova. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no.